happy Wednesday, peeps. Happy hump day. It's a beautiful hump day. I hope that you're enjoying some beautiful weather wherever you are, wherever you hear my voice. Shout out to Bolivia, who is downloading Ash Said It. Yes. AshSaidIt.com. AshSaidIt.com. Thank you guys for the endless love and support. I will never stop thanking you because... I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. You know, if you guys weren't still downloading, if you guys weren't still sending emails, if you guys weren't still outreaching, I I wouldn't be able to do this. So I thank each and every one of you. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to take this time to extend out to and just thank someone who has always been my number one supporter outside of my mom. This is someone who is just basically rocked it out with me before even my birth. And this is my Aunt Anna Marie Savino. So, Aunt Anna Marie and Uncle Frank out of New Jersey. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so... Not New Jersey. I'm sorry. Rhode Island. They're in Rhode Island. I don't know. I had Jersey on the brain. It was just a, a lapse of judgment. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize, that was a lot of judgment, but no. And Anne Marie has always been a huge support um, for my family and just her her livelihood and her her energy has always been so infectious and just so positive. And Anne Marie, I just wanna say that I love you so very much. And I thank you for supporting me, even when I didn't even ask you to. And, you know, that's when, when you know that, that people really do love you and, and they do care when they extend their support without you even asking for it. And um, she's by far one of the, the closest people to my mom. She's the closest thing to a sister my mom ever had. And um, my mom just always, I mean, it. I'm just always, always just loved her, and uh, they had a connection that was just unlike any other. They were very much like sisters, and my mom cherished that friendship just through everything. difficult uh, situations had presented themselves to my mom and just how how much issues that she was having with uh, conceiving and how um, it was just uh, a difficult time and you know I talked with her last night and she just it's like she's looking at it right now. And uh, she just told me how how happy and how, how overjoyed my mom was at my birth. Because they told her that it wasn't possible. They told her that it wasn't gonna happen. And uh, it said, by luck, you know, if you if you did give birth, then this child would have such issues in life, and uh, and wouldn't uh, wouldn't last uh, but a couple of years, and would have a tough life. Well, that that part of it is true. <laughs> it has been tough. Not all of it has been tough, but it has been, it has been very rough at times. And, uh, it's just been a journey. And, and Emory has always been there. She's always been positive. She's always been that, that gusto of support. And I thank God for her 
every day. Because she's a reminder of, uh, of where I come from. And she reminds me every time I talk to her that my mom's spirit is still with me. I didn't plan on crying this morning, y'all. I got to go work it out. You know, I got to go work it on out. I did not plan on crying, but it may be a time for a crying day. <laughs> it's time for some waterworks today, you guys. It's time for some waterworks, but uh, Emory, I love you so much. I thank you so very much. Never stop being you. And, uh, those of you out there that, you know, you have a dream, you have a, a hope, you have a goal, you have something on your heart, your spirit that's been sitting there for a long time. You know what I'm talking about. You have something that you're supposed to do and someone told you that you weren't good enough. Someone told you that you weren't pretty enough. Someone told you you weren't talented enough. Someone said you weren't knowledgeable enough. No. I tell you today, no. You are enough you are enough you can do it I'm too I'm not talking from a place of oh textbook this or textbook that I'm talking of a place that actually is showing and, and is living proof that things are possible doctors told my mom that she would never conceive that one sad little ovary That one little sad little ovary wouldn't do it. It wasn't going to happen. But lo and behold, I started the trend <laughs> with the brother and sister to follow. So it is possible. Anything that you want to do is possible. My mom was a testament to that. It is possible. You can do it. But you have to believe that you can do it. If you don't believe it, then it's not going to happen. If you don't believe it, then it's not going to come to, to pass. It's not. So you've got to believe it firsthand and foremost. You've got to. Without that belief, you've got nothing. A dream without action is, is dead. You've got to. You've got to believe it. You've got to build it in steps together. And you've got to make it happen. You can do it. I'm telling you because I'm doing it. I never imagined. I, I, I told you guys before. I've, I've had white collar jobs. I've had blue collar jobs. I've worked the system. Alright. On more than one occasion. I've done food service. I've done customer service. I've done a call center. I've done a. I did a haunted house. <laughs> I've done retail. I've done a little bit of it all. And in all of it, I was so unfulfilled. I wasn't happy. These gigs did not give me joy. These gigs did not give me a passion that I have. And when I stopped trying to help everyone else make their first million, I started working on my own. I started working on my first million. So that's what that, that's what it really what it comes down to. When are you going to be tired of making everybody else money, making everyone else famous, making everyone else accomplished? When are you going to want to do it for yourself? Now, I kind of stumbled upon this, honestly, really accidentally on purpose. <laughs> because I really had no intention of, of doing this. I had no intention of starting my own company. I had no intention of hosting events. I had no intention of blogging ever again and much less blogging for a fee but everything has its purpose and everything serves its purpose and um, I'm just thankful that I'm in a position now to do more I'm in a position to do what people said that I couldn't do and I'm showing them off. <laughs> I am showing them off, baby. 
they have no no bearing on what I've got coming none they can have their opinion they're entitled to it I welcome it I actually love to hear their stupid opinion <laughs> because at the end of the day I already know what what my life is for and I already know where I'm going and I'm not worried or concerned about what people have to say because everyone is entitled to what they have to say but when you know what you know you don't argue with fools you don't it, there's no there's no reasoning behind it there's no, there's no way that I'm going to do it <laughs> point blank period stick a fork in it not going to do it can't make me happen can't make it happen so you owe it to yourself to make your dream a reality you owe it to yourself to do it you do I mean people will always have an opinion always they're never not gonna have an opinion and usually when it's unsolicited when you're not even asking for them and they're a stupid opinion that's when they want to offer it up to you and I'm just like gonna sit up and entertain that for what reason would I have to do that for my peace of mind and for my serenity I can't have negative minded people around me I know that for a fact there's not even a question about it I, I just can't have it you have to think positive you, you have to want more out of life than what life is offering you and if you don't, then we can't really hang. There's really no question about it at all. And... <sighs> Sorry. There's really not too much of a question about it because I just, I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to entertain it. It's not going to be fun. We're not going to sit up here and just do whatever. Because at the end of the day, I need peace of mind. I, my conscience is clear. I do people the same way I want to be done. And I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not going to sit up here, oh, I've never done anything wrong in my life. I've always done everything right. No, there are things in my life that I could have done differently. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not perfect. I've never said that I was perfect. I never proclaimed, oh, be this perfect, you know, all-knowing being that does everything right in life. No, I've never said that because it's not true I'm not perfect but I've definitely learned from my mistakes and it has helped to mold me into a better person when you can look at your life and look at what you've done and what you've accomplished and say you know what I could have done this better I could have done that better it takes a big person it takes a big big person so I continue to, to to push it forward I do because life has a strange way of humbling you it has a strange way of humbling you but once you take that leap because you got to take a leap out on faith you can't just expect it you know you can't just have a dream and just dream big and believe big and then oh it just magically happens no <laughs> That's the first step in it. You gotta believe. You gotta plan to achieve. So, that's what it is. Plan, whatever it is. Some of you have been thinking about that thing that you've been wanting to do. You've been thinking about it. And it's been sitting on the back of your mind and you've been sitting on it and you've been tucking it away and you've been putting it on that back shelf of your life. Now is the time. Now is the time more than ever. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. None of us are promised tomorrow. So now is the time to do it. You're not too old. You're not too young. You're not too unaccomplished. You need to do it now. People always say, oh, well, I've never seen anyone do this or I've never seen anyone do that. Because you were meant to do it. Only you can bring that to life. Only you can bring that to life. So you've 
got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. I can only tell you guys what I know for a fact. Like I said, my life is a testament to that. So, as I said before, shout out to Auntie Emery, Uncle Frank, everybody out there representing Rhode Island. Yeah. I love you guys. I love everyone that can hear my voice. I love everyone that continues to support me. I love everyone who has put good energy on the universe for me because it has come back and it is doing good and it is doing well and it is motivating me and it is encouraging me and it's helping push me into my destiny and I thank each and every one of you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Kisses, kisses, X's and O's, all of that good stuff. So I'm headed on to exercise. Headed on to Stone Mountain Park. Yeah, we're gonna go and rock it out at the mountain. I'm really hoping they don't make us run around the mountain and just climb it today. I don't know what they're gonna make us do. We're gonna see. So as I put that work in, we make things happen. Anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, look them in the face and say, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. Point blank, period. Stick a fork in it, all right? Follow your girl now at One Love Ash across social media. That is One Love Ash across social media, all the social platforms. Ashsetit.com for all of your Ash Set It needs. Ashsetit.com. And of course, you can hit me up, you can link me, or Tam, or Mark, or whoever, on info at ashsetit.com, that is info at ashsetit.com, and we will link you back, and I just want to say, I love you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, have a great hump day, keep doing up in a major and massive way, <laughs> and uh, I love y'all, deuces.